Today we will be discussing the installation instructions for the Velux ZZZ232V blind adapter kit, which allows a pre-2010 model skylight to be retrofitted with a current model blind. This video will show how to mount the blind adapter to a venting skylight as indicated by the V on the ZZZ232V part number. The blind adapter for a fixed skylight would be indicated by a ZZZ232F. Shown here are some of the tools you will need for this installation. Let's get started. As you remove the parts from the packaging, you will want to verify that you have received everything included in this photo. Also, now would be a good time to take note that one of the vinyl trim pieces is slightly different from the other three. This will be your B piece and the other three vinyl trim pieces will be referred to as the A pieces. You will notice the subtle difference on the grooved side of the trim pieces. The B piece will be installed on the bottom frame only and the A pieces will be installed on the top and side frames. For the first step, you will want to obtain the width shown in millimeters on the label of your blind packaging. This can be cross-referenced against the chart to verify the correct cut for the top and bottom frame widths. For instance, our blind package has a width of 418.5 millimeters, which translates to 17 and 1 16th inches. Once you have taken the correct measurement and made your mark on the B piece, you can make a straight cut at the appropriate length as illustrated here. At this time we will begin making our six degree cut to taper the trim pieces to fit the frame. As shown in diagram three of the installation instructions you can fold over the top corner to achieve this six degree taper. Take precaution to make the tapered cuts in the correct orientations as indicated in the instructions. Once you have made the necessary cuts on the B trim piece and have verified that they are cut to the appropriate length, you can then use the B piece as a template for the A piece and cut it to a mirror image. Now with the two remaining A trim pieces, you will refer back to the blind packaging for the height in millimeters to be cross-referenced with the height chart in the instructions. You can now repeat the same process for the remaining A trim pieces and cut them to the appropriate length. We can now begin installing the trim pieces to the frame of the skylight. We will begin with the A piece running the width of the top frame. You will want to verify the correct placement of the A trim piece against the skylight frame as shown in this photo. This is a very important step to ensure the correct fit and operation of your blind. We can now install the B trim piece running the width of the bottom skylight frame and once again you will want to take precaution and verify the placement of this B trim piece as indicated in this photo. You can now repeat these steps for the side frames of your skylight using your remaining A pieces. For the last step of the blind adapter kit installation we will place the blind support brackets in the upper left and right hand corners of the frame using the provided bracket placement tool. Once you have fastened the bracket to your vinyl trim piece, simply break off the bracket placement tool. Once this step has been completed on both sides, you are now ready to begin your Velux blind installation. 